everyone, my name is Sylvia Maginha and I am a certified coach consultant here at Coaching Cognition. I created this tutorial recently to help you with recording any kind of coaching call that you have via Skype using a free software called GarageBand. Now this is a software that comes with every Mac computer, so if you have a Mac, great. If you have a Windows, then uh, you can still follow along, but you won't be able to use GarageBand, and um, it's mainly for Mac users. So this is really useful if you're a coaching student, for example, or a up-and-coming coach, and you're wanting to record a client session that you had just for that feedback of how are you coaching the client or how is your client progressing throughout the weeks or even months down the line and that's something that you can show them um, as well if they're they're if your clients open to so uh, very useful to get that feedback so I'm gonna show you in this tutorial which is about 10 minutes long uh, the detailed step-by-step -step process of how to get Garage up and running, uh, I mean GarageBand up and running. So you can go ahead and, and start recording via Skype. Okay, so before we begin here, we need to install two important softwares uh, before recording. The first one is called Linein. So go ahead and open up your browser, go to Google, and type in Linein for Mac and from here be sure to download the one from rogamoba.com and click download now now when you download and install line in make sure you open it up and have it display these this uh, box with these features on it uh, one problem I ran into was uh, I downloaded it from another website and it did not show up for some reason so make sure that this box shows up and is available for you to use now let's go back and search for the other software we need to download which is called soundflower and soundflower can be downloaded uh, at cycling74.com that's where i downloaded it and uh, click on free download, install, and you might need to restart your computer. So if you had to do that, go ahead and do that. And uh, once that's installed, be sure to open it and have this, uh, click on this flower icon on the top of your taskbar. And you should have these features displaying on here. It should show up Soundflower 2CH. Uh, Soundflower 64 CH. Uh, make sure that this shows up. If it doesn't, you probably download a different version. Uh, so make sure that this shows up. Okay. So after that, that's done. Uh, let's go back and make sure that if you have Skype already insta installed. Oops, Skype. <laughs> If you have Skype already installed, great. You have a, an account with them, then that's awesome. If not, go to Skype.com and then just go under Downloads and you can easily install it right here. Get Skype for Mac and uh, sign up for an account and you'll be ready to go. Okay, so the next step from here is you go on the top left and click on the Apple icon and then select system preferences click on the sound icon and select input now uh, under input you want to select the device that you're using uh, to speak in so in my case uh, I'm speaking in my built-in microphone on my laptop so I have that selected if you have an external microphone or a headset, for example, you'll probably see it listed on here. So if that's the case for you, go ahead and select that. Now click on the output box 
and on the output you're going to want to select any external speaker that you're going to speak into. For me it's a built-in internal speaker. Uh, for you if it's a headset for example you're, you're probably going to see it listed on here so go ahead and select that. And once you have that done let's move on to the next step. Okay now we're going to open up GarageBand and once that's opened up select voice and save as whatever name that you need to save it under and let it load up. Now on the top select GarageBand and go under preferences and under preferences you're going to want to select the audio icon and from here you want to select the same audio output that we had selected under system preferences so in my case it's the built-in output for you if you have a headset for example you'll probably see it listed so select whatever is appropriate for you and then under audio input you want to select Soundflower 2CH and the Soundflower is the software we had previously installed so make sure that that is running. Once that's done, we're going to go to the bottom right here and under monitor, make sure that on no feedback protection is selected. Okay, so once that's done, open up Skype and I'll be doing that in just a second. So from here, we're going to open up Skype and we're going to go over to the top left under Skype select preferences and under preferences we're going to switch on uh, the microphone to whichever mic that you're using um, and then ringing pretty much the same and speakers we're going to switch that on over to Soundflower 2CH so select that We'll get off of this. Now, remember line in. I want you to open up line in and have this box displaying here. And with line in, what we're going to do is the input is going to be selected to whichever external microphone that you're using. For me, it's the built in mic. Uh, for you, if it's a headset, for example, be sure to select that. So, once that's done, go to Output, and we want to select Soundflower 2CH. Now, we're going to use Line In right before we're, we're going to record, so be sure to have that open. Now, for Soundflower, select the icon on the taskbar, and right under Soundflower 2CH, select whatever device that you're using. Uh, for me it's the built-in output that's why I have that selected so um, be sure to to select that okay. Now once that's done we'll go back to Skype and we're gonna do a Skype test call and if you don't already have the Skype test call as a contact by default then we can easily add him in uh, just go to the search bar and type up echo123 and click on search Skype for people you know and you can easily add them as a, a contact. It's just Skype and then you'll be done from there. Okay, we're just about to hit the recording button and before we do, let's go back to line in and click on the pass through. Now you're going to hear an echo. So what you can do is lower the recording level down to 80% or so. And also you might hear uh, an echo while I'm talking and it's because I'm recording on my computer at the same time that I'm using line in. So don't worry about that. The echo won't show up when you compress it as an mp3 and listen to it. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and do a test call. First, we're going to want to record and then go to Skype and just click call. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. This is Sylvia doing a test call. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is Sylvia doing a test call. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. If you are able to hear your own voice, then you have configured Skype correctly. If you. All right. Sounds good. So let's stop that. Uh, let's also stop line in. We don't need that anymore. And move the cursor over to the beginning and press play. And then go to Skype. And just click call. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. This is Sylvia doing a test call. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is Sylvia doing a test call. Testing. All right, so that worked out great. Now, once you're done with whatever it is that you're recording, the next step from here is simply exporting the audio file and you do that by clicking share selecting export song to disk and using the mp3 encoder audio setting can be whatever you want um, I'm choosing high quality here and just select export save as whatever file you need to and we're good to go that pretty much sums it up on how to use GarageBand uh, to record a Skype call for free. If you have any questions, feel free to post below. And I hope to uh, have provided some value here on how you can use free software if you have a Mac and uh, record whatever important talks or sessions that you have um, in your business or uh, whatever situation. Alright, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.